Good evening, Steve. It's Monday, May 17th. And I finally got a haircut. But you don't care about that. You just want to see me do a cartwheel, don't you? So let's go for the cartwheel. Ready? Yeah, buddy. But of course, I couldn't have done it by myself. I'd like to thank our friend Jess, because she's a gymnast and a dancer and other things like that that make her bendy and able to do things like a cartwheel and backflip, so thanks. Look how unnecessarily big this hood is. Oh my god. Anyway, I wanted to mention a couple things about your video, Steve, so let's get cracking. Man, I'm so thug. Not for nothing, but I know who Andrea is. Everybody else, they have no idea. They don't know you're getting married. They don't know that she's, you know what? I'll let you explain it on Wednesday. The head over heels thing. Let's walk through this slowly, shall we? Right now, I'm standing head over heels. Now usually when somebody wants to fall, they fall downward like this. So if somebody's falling head over heels, there has to be some sort of vertical displacement. Now this vertical displacement is probably where you get confused because you think that the person has to be falling head over heels going downward, where actually that's not the case at all. Head over heels would be something like this, only not as contorted. Almost as if the person was doing a handstand. Now obviously falling head over heels for somebody isn't a voluntary thing that you know it's going to happen. It's unexpected. It's actually similar to the position that you're in. You don't fall that way. You don't choose to. It just happens. It's almost like a metaphor. I'm just kidding. You know I love you, but I really hope that did clear some stuff up for you. You really think I don't know the difference between hieroglyphic and holographic? Seriously? Okay. If you look carefully, you'll notice that there are actually hieroglyphic markings on this card, while it is also holographic. Yeah, thought so. On a good note, I thoroughly enjoyed the end of your last video because it reminded me of Avatar. It reminded me of James Cameron, and then Titanic, and then Death and Sadness. So actually, it wasn't that good at all. Kidding! I really like that one jump you did though, where like you split your legs and threw your hands down. Like, I want to try it. You were just like, or hold on. You were just like, it was really cool. Anyway, I'm off to the well. Anyway, I'm off to the gym, hoping I can get under a 10 minute mile today. So we'll see. But as always, I hope you're doing well. And Steve, I'll see you on Wednesday.